Melachim Sheni, two kings, ten. And Ahav had seventy sons in Shomoron. And Yahu wrote Seraphim, and sent to Shomoron, unto the rulers of Yisrael, to the elders, and to them that brought up Ahav's children, saying, Now, as soon as this Sefer comes to you, seeing your master's sons are with you, and there are with you chariots and horses, a fenced city also, and armor, look even out the best and meetest of your master's sons, and set him on his father's throne, and fight for your master's house. But they were exceedingly afraid, and said, Behold, two kings stood not before him, how then shall we stand? And he that was over the house, and he that was over the city, the elders also, and the bringers up of the children, sent to Yahu, saying, We are your servants, and will do all that you shall bid us. We will not make any king. Do that which is good in your eyes. Then he wrote a sefer the second time to them, saying, If ye be mine, and if ye will hearken unto my voice, take ye eth the heads of the men, your master's sons, and come to me to Yisrael by tomorrow this time. Now the king's sons, being seventy persons, were with eth the great men of the city, which brought them up. And it came to pass, when the Sefer came to them, that they took at the king's sons, and slew seventy persons, and put at their heads in baskets, and sent him them in Yisrael. And there came a messenger, and told him, saying, They have brought the heads of the king's sons. And he said, Lay ye them in two heaps, at the entering in of the gate, until the morning. And it came to pass in the morning that he went out and stood and said to all the people, Ye be righteous. Behold, I conspired against my master and slew him. But who slew eth all these? Know now that there shall fall unto the earth nothing of the word of Yahuwah, which Yahuwah spoke concerning the house of Ahav. For Yahuwah has done eth that which he spoke by his servant Eliyahu. So Yahu slew eth all that remained of the house of Ahav in Yisrael, and all his great men, and his kinsfolk, and his priests, until he left him none remaining. And he arose and departed and came to Shomoron, and as he was at the shearing house in the way, Yahu met with Eth the brethren of Ahaziahu, king of Yahuda, and said, Who are ye? And they answered, We are the brethren of Ahaziahu, and we go down to salute the children of the king and the children of the queen. And he said, Take them alive. And they took them alive and slew them at the pit of the shearing house, even two and forty men. Neither left he any of them. And when he was departed thence, he lighted on Eth Yahunadav, the son of Rachav, coming to meet him, and he saluted him and said to him, Is Eth your heart right, as my heart is with your heart? And Yahunadav answered, It is. If it be, give me Eth your hand. And he gave him his hand. And he took him up to him into the chariot. And he said, Come with me and see my zeal for Yahuwah. So they made him ride in his chariot. And when he came to Shomoron, he slew at all that remained unto Ahav in Shomoron, till he had destroyed him, according to the saying of Yahuwah, which he spoke to Eliyahu. And Yahu gathered at all the people together and said unto them, Ahav served at Baal a little, but Yahu shall serve him much. 
Now therefore call unto me all the prophets of Baal, all his servants, and all his priests. Let none be wanting, for I have a great sacrifice to do to Baal. Whosoever shall be wanting, he shall not live. But Yahu did it in subtlety, to the intent that he might destroy F the worshippers of Baal. And Yahu said, Proclaim a solemn assembly for Baal. And they proclaimed it. And Yahu sent through all Yashadael, and all the worshippers of Baal came, so that there was not a man left that came not. And they came into the house of Baal, and the house of Baal was full from one end to another. And he said unto him that was over the vestry, Bring forth vestments for all the worshippers of Baal. And he brought them forth vestments. And Yahu went, and Yahu Nadav, the son of Rechav, into the house of Baal, and said unto the worshippers of Baal, Search and look that there be here with you none of the servants of Yahuwah, but the worshippers of Baal only. And when they went in to offer sacrifices and burnt offerings, Yahu appointed fourscore men without, and said, If any of the men whom I have brought into your hands escape, he that lets him go, his life shall be for the life of him. And it came to pass, as soon as he had made an end of offering the burnt offering, that Yahu said to the guard and to the captains, Go in and slay them. Let none come forth. And they smote them with the edge of the sword. And the guard and the captains cast them out and went to the city of the house of Baal. And they brought forth at the images out of the house of Baal and burned them. And they broke down at the image of Baal and broke down at the house of Baal and made it a draught house unto this day. Thus Yahuwah destroyed Eth Baal out of Yashereel. Howbeit from the sins of Yaravam, the son of Nevat, who made Eth Yashereel to sin, Yahuwah departed not from after them, to wit, the golden calves that were in Beat El, and that were in Dan. And Yahuwah said unto Yahu, Because you have done well in executing that which is right in my eyes, and have done unto the house of Achav, according to all that was in my heart, your children of the fourth generation shall sit on the throne of Yashadael. But Yahu no heed, rather, but Yahu took no heed to walk in the Torah, of Yahuwah Elohai, of Yashadael, with all his heart, for he departed not from the sins of Yaravam, which made at Yashadael to sin. In those days, Yahuwah began to cut Yashadael short, and Chazael smote them in all the coasts of Yashadael. From the Yardan eastward, Eth all the land of Gilad, the Gadim, and the Reuvenim, and the Mashashim, from Aror, which is by the river Arnan, even Gilad and Bashan. Now, the rest of the acts of Yahu, and all that he did, and all his might, are they not written in the Sefer of the chronicles of the kings of Yashadael? And Yahu slept with his fathers, and they buried him in Shomoron. And Yahu Ahaz, his son, reigned in his stead. And the time that Yahu reigned over Yashadael in Shomoron was twenty and eight years.